Yeah. You just did an uh, interview with that guy, uh, John Sweeney, and he has a whole podcast dedicated to Epstein and Maxwell and, and that whole story, right? So with so like he, the he, BBC. His podcast became the number one podcast in the UK. It was really. It's called Hunting Galane. So my interview of him is called Hunting Galane Maxwell's John Sweeney. If people want to check that out, I thought I knew a lot about Maxwell, but he spent many years um, dedicated to that, and I learned a lot from John Sweeney. Really, there were things I was wondering about, and he, he filled in those blanks. What was the biggest revelation, or the biggest thing that he uncovered in your mind? So. He talked about Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell's upbringing, and he just went into you know a vivid description of how dysfunctional it was under Robert Maxwell, who was this charismatic media tycoon, but he was also an absolute monster and a psychopath in many ways. And because he was so charming people who were close to him, you know, when they said like, he's a monster, he's a psychopath, they said, well, at least he's our monster or at least he's our psychopath. But apparently Ghislaine was subjected to corporal punishment and there was a selection of belts and looking at what happened later on, you know, books that were found in Epstein's properties, like the Marquis de Sade, this uh, BDSM stuff, a lot of what happens to us when we're kids carries forward into our adult lives. So this BDSM propensity, it seems that a root cause is possibly the, 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 the beltings and the corporal punishment that she got from her dad, who she idolized. And he was her favorite as well out of all of the kids who some of them became hugely successful. Some of them died. There was, all it's like a, 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 um, a Greek tragedy. What what happened to the kids? What happened? How many brothers and sisters does she have? Um, a lot, quite a lot, quite really? a lot. Let me just have a look right now. We could see how her behavior was shaped by the treatment that came from her father. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, Sweeney was quite sympathetic in respect that he was saying that that was a mitigating circumstance you know, for Maxwell because of this dysfunctional um, upbringing. Nine children. Nine. Nine children he had. So if you want to hear the crazy stuff that happened to these, um, these kids. So Michael was the oldest brother. He fell into a coma age 15 after a car crash in 1961 and died eight years later, having never regained consciousness. So imagine you're Ghislaine, and your brother is just on life support, and he can't even communicate with you. So that is really sad. Eight years? Eight years. Philip, 71. Um, poor Philip, he was described by as his friends, became a brilliant scientist and mathematician, mm -hmm. won a scholarship to Balliol College, Oxford, at just 16. But he so hated his father that as soon as he could, he fled to Argentina to get as far away from him as possible. They fell out when he married Nilda, an Argentinian, in 1977 against his dad's wishes. The marriage didn't last. Nilda moved out, taking their daughter Marcella with her, and a second marriage also failed. He was last heard of living in a 65-pound-a-week flat that is a hundred dollar a week apartment in North London, trying to be a writer. And what was he writing about? His bullying father. And 69 became an actress and she was called ugly by her father. God. When her fledgling acting career floundered, her dad said, what have you and Pope John Paul II got in common? You are both ugly and you're both failed actors. This is how crazy that guy was. Jesus Christ. She studied Italian and French at Oxford, trained at a, as a Montessori teacher, married an osteopath, and is now believed to be a hypnotist in Surrey, practicing under a different name. Um, she kept out of the limelight since her father's death in 1968. So I'm in Surrey. I might try and get a hold of her. Oh, this is a good one. 
Christine, so you saw some of them um, didn't do very well, but these did. Christine and her sister Isabel made the Sunday Times Rich List in 1999 after amassing a hundred million pounds during the dot com bubble. But then they lost it all. <laughs> but now they're back up again or something. It's crazy. Jeez, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, where, where are they all? Where was the? Uh, what was the dad's name again? Robert Maxwell. Robert Maxwell. Where was he? Where Where did he live? Where was he based at? Was he in the uh, UK? So he was out of Czechoslovakia. Oh, okay. And his entire family were wiped out in the Holocaust. Mm. But his mum said to him, "Get to England and copy the mannerisms of an English gentleman." And that's what he did. Interesting. Oh, there was, here's a weird death. Isabel, the second twin, she um, got together with an illusionist, a third husband illusionist, Al Seckel, a significant player in the California literary acad acad academic and celebrity scene, was famous for holding parties for the great and good, and was a good friend of Epstein. In 2009, the two organized a science conference called Mind Shift on Epstein's private island. Isabel and Seckel married in Malibu in 2007. But the union was never legal as he'd forgotten to file the papers to all the second of three previous marriages. Um, but here's what happens to him. Um, in 2015... Seckel was found dead below a cliff near their home in the village of saint cirque la Popie in France's Low Valley. And Isabel still lives in the south of France. Was he Epstein in 2015? <laughs> Somebody needs, HBO needs to do a documentary on the Maxwell family. That here's, would be fucking bonkers. Here's an even sadder one. Kareen, the middle sister, age three, in 1957, died of leukemia. Oh. Oh, no, it goes, man. It's endless. The sister. Yeah. Jeez. It's a tragic, a tragic history from that family. Kevin became Britain's biggest ever bankruptcy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it goes. Yeah. Wow. Wow.